We've got uh, Willow back from Sea Trials, 1959, Sword, 15 foot runabout. It's a lap straight. She's uh, got a few things done. She's got a new fresh battery, fresh fuel, and a new yacht ensign. She's uh, powered by a Suzuki, a 25 four stroke. A few more things to do to her. She's scheduled to go in and see Gary for a, a annual maintenance, preventative maintenance, a impeller, get an oil change. See anything else she needs. We're gonna put a, a, a battery switch on the battery box, which for our boat, we keep back here aft to kind of balance out where the driver sits, aft and port side. There's a little, uh, Build pump with a uh, automatic float switch. She's got fold down seats on the aft seat and the middle seat. We added a little uh, boarding deck here in the middle so when folks are stepping in, you got a nice flat surface to step onto. And uh, that actually slides back under the seat, so the room for feet once we get underway. She's uh, stored on this uh, swinger cradle lift. It's meant for up to 1,500 pounds, primarily jet skis, but in some ways, uh, Willow's like a four-person jet ski, so she fits on it nice. Back up for a minute here. We had them put the uh, bunks just underneath where the stringers are in the boat. And by stringers, that, that beam that's over there just past the bilge pump. And this other uh, beam that runs fore and aft right here. And that'll, uh, they support the full length of that stringer. The stringer stops uh, right about there, so that's got a little bit extra bunks up front. Inside, uh, Gary put a tachometer in her. Little switches are for the uh, nav lights with the whistle hanging on it and the bilge pump to the right. Two little push buttons in the middle were for uh, starting the old motor. We decided just to leave them in there versus looking at holes. Underneath, we've got some of the required safety equipment, the uh, throwable device, a little USB port down there whistle uh, sound device required yeah we can stow our uh, bow line down there and uh, we've been lot watching a lot of folks at the ramp recently and I don't know what it is that they don't uh, they don't have bow lines but uh, for some reason they don't but it's a good thing to have it makes it a lot easier to handle the boat you're not getting into the water to Try to grab onto a boat while it's bobbing around. You're taking it on and off the trailer. I've seen people up in, underneath the bow of their boats trying to grab onto this tiny little bow ring. It was like, uh, you know, just, just buy some line, bow line. It's a highly underrated. Came back, 30 minute cruise. Did some slow speed and some high speed and she's uh ready and running just a few more things to get fixed up on her and just enjoy her